Hey guys, Nabil here. I hope everyone is doing okay. Believe it or not, the art of fighting has turned 30 years old. Now, I know I didn't do a video on the day of the birthday, which was two days ago. That's because I am traveling for work and also covering EGX, so it was a little bit diff difficult to do that, but I never forget auto fighting. So, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about this franchise and, and remind you what it all is about and what SNK is doing to celebrate. Now, first of all, just a gentle reminder, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm actually still traveling, so I can't even do the fancy click here and click there because I can't. I don't have access to that. Uh, but yeah, so auto fighting has turned 30 years old and SNK is celebrating by releasing this amazing poster uh, by Tomohiro Nakata, the same uh, artist, the main artist of the King of Fighters 15 and it's a beautiful, beautiful piece of art showing the entire roster of auto fighting 1, 2 and 3. It looks really, really good. Now, in, they, they also said to ask people to share their information, their uh, thoughts and their history or whatever they want to talk about out of fighting or their fan art. So instead of doing that via Twitter, I decided to do it in this video and talk about how I, you know, I discovered the series, how, how what what effect it had on my childhood uh, and just a little bit of, of yeah, history lesson uh, auto fighting when it came out it was really ahead of its time it was spearheaded by Hiroshi Matsumoto and it was in a time when fighting games were booming the first Fatal Fury game was out uh, Fatal Fury 2 was also uh, no before the release of Fatal Fury 2 but Fatal Fury 2 Fatal Fury 1 was was out Street Fighter obviously too so SNK was willing to try new things for fighting games and try to change the landscape and that's why they let Hiroshi Matsumoto to kind of do something nobody has done before and it's apparent from the first game yes maybe it didn't age as well as the other fighting games but it really changed the fighting game genre first of all it had those big beautiful sprites and that zoom in in and out uh, you know when the characters get close to each other and it also included uh, very um, interesting bonus stages but that's not that's not the main thing the main thing it actually had the stamina bar and it was the first game to have super moves yes yeah, super moves that every game is using right now was actually first appeared in the first auto fighting game it was it was a great game uh, then we had auto fighting 2 another amazing game it was notoriously known for how difficult it is to this day i dare you to go and try to finish that game on one coin it's almost impossible then there was Fatal Fury uh, Auto Fighting 3, which they tried something different, didn't work that much. I'm not a big fan of that title, honestly. But the history of this franchise is very important. And I don't know if you know this, but I actually did a really detailed history documentary about Auto Fighting. The link is going to appear here on, on top. Uh, it's a 40 minute documentary where I actually go in details about how this franchise is made, uh, the different uh, ports, how it played and everything. So you should definitely check it out. Now I'm going to talk about my history with this with this franchise. So unlike Fatal Fury and unlike Street Fighter and King of Fighters, the first time I played Auto Fighting was not at the arcade. In fact, we didn't have, I didn't see an arcade version of Auto Fighting until later on. It wasn't here in Morocco. So the first time I played Auto Fighting was actually on the Sega Genesis and I remember you know looking at that card and seeing the art and saying seeing SNK I'm like oh boy this is gonna be quality this is from the guys who made one of my favorite games at the time and still to this day Fatal Fury so I remember you know starting the game seeing uh, choosing Rio that's that's actually who I chose and seeing that you know big sprites and and beautiful sprites in the music fighting uh, fighting uh, todo in that first stage it was amazing and then you have the cutscenes and the focus on the story which was unheard of at the time you know like street fighter 2 even the first fatal fury game it it had a story but it wasn't those cutscenes it was the whole game was like a movie and then you had that cliffhanger at the end which was beautiful never again been done in 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 a fighting game or maybe even in a game at the time so auto fighting is a very special very very special series to me very dear to me uh, auto fighting one and two and uh, th that was auto fighting one auto fighting two also not at the arcades i played it on the super nintendo and i had a lot of fun with it i used to play takuma yuri beautiful characters amazing characters that actually we haven't seen in a while actually uh, like uh, like john uh, even mr big 
uh, Mickey, etc. So hopefully those characters are not forgotten and we'll see them again one day in a King of Fighters or in another game. And speaking of another game, uh, now I know it's a long shot, but I don't think, and this might not make some of you happy, but I don't see Out of Fighting making a comeback, uh, especially as a fighting game. You know, uh, we have King of Fighters, we have Fatal Fury coming out, but Out of Fighting is difficult to bring back because of how unique it was. And if you just use it do it as a normal game it's just going to be a fair of fury you know clone if you will or a street fighter clone which is kind of difficult and you can't experiment and do something completely new like the stamina again in this day and age because it's not sustainable in an esports filled uh landscape so i do think that there's still a future for auto fighting and honestly i hope that a new auto fighting is announced but not as a fighting game auto fighting could be a great action rpg like the yakuza games uh, or the the um, you know like a dragon now it's called like a dragon i think it will be the perfect setting for the franchise being in in south town traveling around and and fighting goons and stuff it could be all it could be it could be rebooted as an amazing action adventure action uh, rpg game I, I, that's just my opinion i don't know what you guys think but please let me know in the comment sections what are your memories of the Art of Fighting series and what do you think is the, the future of this beloved franchise. Let me know all that and more in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thank you guys for watching.